The buses carrying migrants keep coming, and so does the criticism. Because this is failure. At a it's tense failure. city council meeting devoted to the crisis, some of Mayor Brandon Johnson's allies, including Immigration Committee Chair Alderman Andre Vasquez, voiced concerns over the administration's plan to build base camps by a controversial contractor. I am saddened by the possibility that we are on the precipice of this administration moving forward with building military-grade tent base camps in our great city. Other Johnson allies are frustrated with the resources spent on migrants over black residents. I've been upset because we are being made to choose one set of people over the other, and it's wrong. The meeting was interrupted several times by some angry residents with the same complaints. The frustration over the crisis and its response was echoed by volunteers who say they have not received a dime from the city. Private citizens like ourselves have paid out of pocket for things like food, medicine, diapers, formula. And migrant health care needs are costing money. Last week, the city says there were 353 ambulance calls from police stations, shelters, and airports. UIC medical student Sarah Esguerdo helped start the migrant mobile response team. She and other volunteers provide free health care to migrants at police stations. We are seeing children who have been cut up by the barbed wire in rivers, sloppily stitched up in Texas, put on a bus by Texas and then dropped off and deposited into Chicago police stations. Committee Chair Alderman Andre Vasquez says at some point the council or the mayor will probably have to call a full special city council meeting on the migrant crisis. But Vasquez says he wants to make sure the meeting will have some substance and it won't turn into a circus. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.